hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just simply log into your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that and now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share all this command so the first thing that you have to check now you have to come back to the lab instructions and in future if you are able to find a different region over here that time you have to just simply use that otherwise what you can do you can just simply continue with this us central one region okay now just simply copy all this command like this way copy like this come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and then just simply click on this authorize now just simply wait for this command get execute and once all command get execute so you are done with the task number one two three four five okay so now just simply wait for a couple of minutes and make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnect and because of that you might face a unnecessary error so just simply make sure of that thing now just simply wait for a couple of minutes and let's see
and it's finally done. Now what you do, you have to just simply click on the task number 6. Just simply scroll down and from here what you do, you have to just simply copy this thing. So just simply copy like this way, come back over here and just simply search over here. Now open this thing in new tab and just simply come back over here. Wait for a couple of seconds over here. Now here you can see configure constant screen, just simply click over here like this way. Now just simply choose the external and then click on this create. Now for the application name, come back over here, scroll down a little bit and from the point number 6 you can see this name. So just simply copy this name carefully, do not copy this last full stop, just simply copy like this, come back over here and just simply paste over here, like this way. Now just simply click over here and from here just simply copy your and select your username, like this way. Now again come back over here and from here just simply copy your username like this, come back over here, scroll down a little bit and here you can see developer contact information, just simply paste the username over here. Like like this way now click on the save and continue just simply wait it's done again just simply scroll down click on this save and continue save and continue and just simply scroll down and click on this back to dashboard like this way so you are done with this part now what you do you have to come back to this tab and now just simply refresh the page it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that make sure that you have to click on this refresh button otherwise you are not able to get the output like this way just simply wait this kind of output okay now what you do just simply turn on this toggle like this way click on the checkbox and then click on this turn on over here now it will take a couple of minutes so just simply wait for that And it's finally done. Now just simply wait and then click on the checkbox over here like this way. Make sure that you have to click on this checkbox. Now just simply wait and then click on this add principle over here. Now for the new principle what you do again just simply copy this username copy like this come back over here paste and then click on this blank space over here like this way. Now for the role again come back over here scroll down a little bit and from the point number 4 you can see this role. So just simply copy this role carefully copy like this come back over here and just simply search over here like this way click on this and then click on this save wait for a second and it's done now if you just simply come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and the score will update for sure just simply wait and watch so as you can see we got a green tick over here if i just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a green tick over here without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see score is updated and that's the way we have to complete this lab i hope you guys like the way i solve this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys